As Parker steps to the center of the ring, and that reminds you that if Ruiz can win the fight, he'll be the first from a park of me have already put a little bruise on it but i like the hand speed i like the combination punches this is um one of the reasons joseph parker is an intriguing <laughs> if you if you imagine ruiz in a little different shape Zealand from big bear california he's more of a you know explode at a guy he uses those feet first as defense this is training camp in big bear california reaches forward with the one two combination even a little more steam on him already than Joseph Parker as he got his jab in several times. It was very technical style, Eastern European style fighters at the top, but it was a fun round of boxing to watch in the heavyweight division. It's been a while. He hasn't shown it yet, but he seems to me a little more. He's such a good fighter, the guy who puts punches together. That comes from being around more seasoned fighters. Uh, took straight right hand showing up as he gets the drop. Punches as opposed to only six. Parker just fighting defensively, dictating. He's the guy with the initiative there. And when he does dictate like that, he does well. It's not really good for you in a close fight. By Joseph Parker draws proving ooze and odds. 29, 28, Andy Ruiz. Norris, who was a cruiserweight and then a heavyweight and was a comp. Nor the poise that we see with Ruiz that now attaches to Abel Sanchez that fighters put in up there and of course the fact that they are training shoulder to shoulder everything this fight isn't yeah compared to that this is the thriller who didn't have a lot of skills uh, a lot of skill set Kevin Barry trainer maybe not as proven on the world stage as is Abel Sanchez this has performed so far in this situation but the only thing that he's probably thinking is that Jim, I hate to say it, and he's not going to buy into those tests. So you're saying that Joseph, and you tailored your style to your unique gifts. Pawing jab, I like his crisp jab. Yeah, but that you are by nature very bashful. But, <laughs> oh, rest assured, it's your heavyweight division. And there were like body home, shots involved. Looked like the 12th round of Holmes Norton, the way He would have been doing tremendous. But to tell you the truth, if you watch this pawing jab, it makes a guy have to defend it in this fight at this moment. Now that you guys have agreed that Parker Chin and, and then Parker's slipping in that left kind of jab hook at times. It's keeping the one who is more likely to back his opponent out with a hard punch. He's just being cautious because he doesn't want to give the fight away. There's the Mexican. Here we see some of the replays. A good hook. The hook that landed on the throat. Of Looked like a bulge because there's less like inferior opposition and this happens to almost all fighters aggressive knockout puncher and we've seen say that I could agree with him being more aggressive seems like it won't go your way and you stick with it and you make adjustments and you start to do this change with one big bunch and that's going to show up on the scorecards for you there's a good right hand up hook followed by our right hand up hook by Reed's good body shot with Tyson Fury having relinquished his titles good chairs good boxing skills home turf for this fight that tells you something about Ruiz not that long ago was considered one of the best in the same sentence with Wilder and Joshua until we see them against the top notch fighter then it comes to, well when he fights the top notch fighter the real Ortiz comes out and he reverts to what being charted here in Omaha off of television monitor this should be really isn't he keeps coming forward, he lands, but he don't let it go enough. Look at this. He lets Parker whack him in the face. But with what he's seen coming at him from Ruiz, his accuracy, Garbin. Um, So far, you see increasingly that Parker's shots like that and some and fighters who look vulnerable. Joshua, eight, or the right time to be throwing body shots, Roy? Always the right time to throw body shots. They see a good left hook. Then you saw a good overhand right, right on the chin. I mean, those are big punches. Good straight right, overhand right, I mean. Tended to land, but rather to distract the opponent it's as the fight has gone on. And right there, Jim, in about round six or round seven. Now you see Parker even throwing body shots. Maybe he could have been closer to winning the fight on the scorecard. At the end of the fight, which Harold's scorecard. Yeah, well, that's why there's so many controversies in boxing, Roy. They should agree more. 11. Parker's focus has stayed in place. Heavyweight. Contender. Good body shot. Good body shots by Joseph Parker. Be what people remember. A safe looking three point lead here. Has kept Andy at bay, although Andy just counted it really good right there. 
And this fight seems oh. to be in the balance, and these guys are throwing some big shots here. In the stretch. And he eats a right hand from Park. Everything that he tried to do just did. Good, oh, I good left hook up. Not will this round for himself. And you see Parker doing a really good job of keeping his back. Again. Some excellent technicianship. Close by. 